young famous Africans or young famous aunt African who is watching let's talk in the comment section okay just first thought about this show let's talk in the comment section if you don't know what I'm talking about young famous and African is a reality <laughs> TV show on Netflix about young famous Africans and so you have uh, Africans from different African countries from Nigeria you have um, Annie Macaulay Dibia and her husband to Baba and then you also have Swanky Jerry as well from South Africa Which most of them are from you have DJ naked and delay uh, And then you know for the women you also have Zari you have Kani Kelly Nadia and in this season we have Bonang as well and then from other countries from Tanzania we have Diamond you know Platinums uh, the singer and then uh, we also have a new guy called Lewish I, th I think they call they're calling him Lewish but they're spelling it Lewis so I don't know um, but he's from Namibia and we also have Fanta uh, Fantana, but they're calling her Fanta. <laughs> um, she's from, she's a musician from Ghana as well. I think that's, that's, that's about it. Just a party, party, hang out and talk, talk, talk. That's really what the show has been. This is in party, party, hang out, talk, 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 talk. It's just like gossip sessions. Don't think that a device, you know, that's value adding. Like, let's follow you to work. Let's see you work on your business. Let's, you know, not, none of those things. You just, okay, I, like, literally, party, party, uh, then at the party, you fight, you curse at each other, and you gossip the next day, and then you fight, and then you meet, and then you gossip. It's just like... Starting off of season one, season one was like an intro, you know, all of them meeting each other, coming together to shoot this show. But as with, as you might expect with every big, when you put big personalities in a room or in a space, everybody wants to shine and everybody wants to outshine the other and everybody wants to be the queen and everybody wants to be the king, you know? Um, and so there were lots and lots of personality clashes. Um, it was interesting listening to some of them talk because, you know, you'd realize, but what are you saying? But why are you like this? You know, so it was an introduction to all of them. But I figured that after all of us with the whole world and them watching season one, if there were to be a season two, you know, they would come better you know, they will take lessons from, oh, this, these are the things we could have done better. And, you know, these are the things, this is the strategy I'm going to come with for season two. That was what I thought, you know, was going to happen with season two. And I'm just like, did these people not learn anything from season one? Let's talk about the drama. I think the biggest drama on that show surrounds Annie Idibia and her husband, Tubaba. And it is unfortunate, right? Because it is heartbreaking watching her struggle so much and go through so much judgment and talks behind her back, you know, from her so-called friends, from the media. And it's, it's, it's a burden. I think I, I, I can see she's had to carry throughout a relationship and marriage with two baba up to where they are now and it's just unfortunate that our own life our reality has become content you know um for so many people and so many people have different opinions you know about that marriage and that relationship that situation in general and i think it's also because even as a person even outside of the show over the years she's not been able to even she's an actress i i know her as an actress right but she's not been able to establish herself as someone that's way more than Tubaba's wife, right? And the mother of his two children and the woman that married him despite and regardless and someone that had to be da, 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 da. Do you get what I'm saying? But it is unfortunate that that drama followed her into season two, especially because Tubaba is not that present on the show. She's a whole lot more present on the show compared to him. But when you see her, when they're talking, for the most part, it's still about Tubaba and her relationship with Tubaba. Do you get? And I just feel, I just, I understand when she broke down on the show, I, com I could, you know, I felt her pain. I felt her hurt. And, you know, I felt, I felt bad. I felt sorry. 
um, for her. Uh, but I'm, you know, she's a strong woman. She's been through so much. You know, I'm sure she's going to be fine. The old drama between Andele, Diamond, and Zari. And it, w it was something that, even from season one, I was already like, uh uh, Andele, uh uh. Like, I like you. You know, you're one of my favorites on the show. But Andele, Andele doesn't understand boundaries. And that's what I think Diamond was trying to communicate with him. Like, this is not a random person. To both of us this is the mother of my kids and you are my friend you are my family you know so even if even though whatever you're catching feelings for her repress it you know crush it kill it don't let it don't let it fly because out of respect for the relationship relationship that we have and i completely understood diamond right as far as that's concerned and i know that andele is smart enough to know that but because of his feelings it was it was it was being clouded and he was trying to you know make diamond seem like the bad person diamond in that situation diamond wasn't the bad person his feelings are completely understandable and zari is just over there enjoying the attention it's also Fanta, the new lady that was introduced into the group, the musician, you know, she got introduced to Diamond and they have this thing going on. <laughs> I found their, quite, their conversation quite cringe worthy, you know, <laughs> especially considering the fact that the world is going to watch you guys. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, and how she... I, I know you like him, you want to, you know, have whatever with him, that's fine. That doesn't mean that, you know, I mean, that conversation, those conversations, the conversations they had, I was just like, people were behind the camera filming, like, are you guys for real? You know, I was just like, it was mind boggling for me. I, I, I didn't get it. Initially, when the season started and, you know, Swanky and Annie came with the, their drama, I thought it was scripted. I thought they came like we're like oh you know what let's start this like they planned it do you get but the more we got into the season the more i realized i was like this isn't looking good <laughs> do you get what i'm saying and as someone that has very close friends as someone that's very particular about our friendships what i always say is don't let things sit don't let things boil don't let things fester do you get what I'm saying? Don't let, don't let the hurt. He waited seven months. He waited till they got on a reality show to address whatever grievances he had against her. And she didn't even pursue him. Well, as far as we know on the, on the show, she didn't even, oh, he's mad at me. Why is he mad at me? Okay, if you're not going to talk to me, me, I'm not going to talk to you. Friendships don't work like that. If your friendship is going to be successful, you have to, and if you, you, you and if you know that your friends are important to you then you have to find a way to fight for your friendships you don't let your best friend be away from you for seven months and you can't even explain why or you know why and you're not talking to them about it worthy of notes is the fact that i find annie quite restless on that show i don't know why like when she's talking she's like you know, she's in your bar. They'll say that Ariel Bale. Do you get? And I don't know why. And she's like that. Oh, and she was like that in season one as well. But when she's talking to you, you know, she's she's moving so much, and it makes her seem unbelievable. It makes her seem, you know, not trustworthy because she just. She, is it just? Is it just me? For the women, I would say Kaylee is probably my favorite person just because I believe she's the realest person on that show. I like how she hasn't attached herself to any of them in such a way that she's unable to keep it real. Uh, do you get low? so no matter where she is or who she's hanging out with she's able to tell the person like no that was wrong no you know Kani Kani uh, Kani has a very interesting personality you know she's here and then she's there you know she's besties and kissing all over you today and then tomorrow she's bashing you I mean when she was really going at Annie behind Annie's back with the Swanky and all of them I was just like and then she'll meet someone else and she'll talk about how, how Swanky is acting like he needs a new best friend or something like and she's just when you're not there you are fair game and I find that quite scary <laughs> that scene where fanta organized the paint and save event and she said oh you know what let's all go around say something that you like about the other person 
grown women could not do it. It was very shameful and disappointing to watch. Grown women, grown adults, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. It was quite disappointing. Oh, wait, I have to talk about Bonang. Bonang came on that show like, like a hurricane. <laughs> She just came, wah, and she left. <laughs> like, that was, that's the best way I can describe it. She came like a hurricane. She was, she, like a tornado. She just, wah, 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 wah. She just scattered it, and then she bowed. And she bounced. I think this show is interesting, seeing all these personalities come together. But I don't think they like each other. Like, Fanta, Fanta, Fantasia? No, it's not Fantasia. Fantana. <laughs> like Fantana said repeatedly on that show that they do not like each other and it's obvious it's obvious they do not like each other it's a very toxic relationship that they have going on if there is going to be a season three I hope you know they work on that better maybe they need me on the show I'm famous too <laughs> If I yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. I'll see you again very, very soon. Really got it. God bless you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>